Hey guys, I'm your host, I Love Legos, and today we're going to be reviewing the Lego Dreams for 10 year old set 71469 Nightmare Shark Ship and has 100, one, um, I mean 1,389 pieces. This Lego set is very big to be honest. This is how big it is compared to my arm. It's very big. So, these are its functions. Its first function is you're able to make its mouth go up and down. Guys, its second, its second function function is if you op if you open its mouth and you go over here, you could do this. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna be pretty cool. You see how I did it like this? You can now see that this hook can come out. It's 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 pretty cool. There's also the sets of two stud shooters on one circle platform. Two of them each on each side. You could place a little um grim spawn right there. A little trapdoor, a little bed down there, a little skeletal system. Here I'll give you a little review on the inside. Here it is, the inside. There's a little TV with the Nightmare King on them, on it, or something, a little painting, I guess I could say. Here's a little bed where a minifigure can sleep. You could detach the boosters, which are on each of the sides or something. Boosters, I call them, or thrusters. We have little lanterns right here. You know, we always gotta keep the light on the ship. We have what's supposed to be dragon um, dragon wings that are being used as uh, these things up here. I forgot what they're called, but they're uh, like sail things. It's what it's what makes gives the air. We have a little lantern over here hanging on on a little like sharp knife or something. This you can move up and down, so that's good news. This is a little eye thing. You could take it out. Have an individual eye. There are two... Se uh, these. There's two separate builds for this thing. It says it right here. You could build it right here. But I'm not risking my life taking this thing apart. So you could turn it into like a winged pterodactyl type thingy. This is what the normal Lego set looks like. Without the, without the add-ons that I added. First, you could turn it into the version that I made, or you could make the entire adventure on wheels, and also have these little shooter things up there. These are all the minifigures. First, we have Z-Blob in Nova, which has a weird sloth type of pajama shirt. We have Mateo in his uh, suit. Same with Izzy in her suit. We have Snivel, Susan, the Nightmare King, and this is what the Nightmare King looks like actually. I have some of the minifigures right here. Don't worry about that little Grim Spawn. He doesn't belong here. Belongs to another Lego set. So, the exact same size on the box. He comes with the little sword. And he could go on this little seat that he could use to ride the ship. Pretty cool, right? You can move. You could adjust these. My favorite part about this Lego set is this. I like that feature. It's just brick built eyes put onto a stick with a couple of snot bricks. That's my favorite part about it. These are individual wings. This one's not right at the moment, but this is what it's supposed to look like. They could detach and each hatch, but I don't want to do that no more. If you turn over here, you got another wing. But here's where everything starts getting good. So basically, you could disconnect this 
and take this thing off. It's a little cabin as you could see here. If you, if you open this up, then you'll be revealed with a surprise. So, the Nightmare King just fell off, but... Here's what we got in here. We got a little old blaster, which, I don't know, probably belonged to the guy that shot Abraham Lincoln. No offense. But, we also have, um, uh, like this, uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're like time things. Those weird, oh yeah, an hourglass. This is like a weird sandy hourglass. We have a little spot over here where a bunny could go, which is Izzy's bunny right down here, you can see. But she's hanging out with Nova right now, so, yeah. So, this is like a place where the bunny could get trapped. We have this thing for fishing. Looks like a screwdriver to me. Outside, I really like the details because it's windows. There's a little tooth right here. This looks like a skull, which of course it probably is. There's little claw thingies down here. Handcuffs, which I think Lego did a really good job on. Because it's used as the rails. We have little wood stickers, which is pretty cool. And we have little windows. Which I think I probably said already. I don't know. We have this arch that goes up here to reach to the skull. Which... Lego does a really good job on these Lego sets because if you look over here, it's a skull. But if you look over here, it's a chair with an eyeball, which I really love. This is the upside down. And I could reattach it. Oh, sorry. But don't be thinking that I'm really going to be uh, de um, attaching it right now because we have a lot of features in this area to be exact. You see this little lock thing? If I press down on it, that thing will pop up. And if I take that thing out, it's a chest. This is what the area looks like on the inside. There's a little function in there. This chest has uh, um, doesn't really have much detail. You're just able to open it, which I'll probably open it. Ah, oh, crap. That's really hard. But in here we have two gold bars. Seems like somebody's been snatching some money. Okay, I don't even know if anybody's laughing right now, but because nobody's not even here, as you can see. It's just me and all my Lego bricks. Ugh. So you could reattach this thing. Because as you can see, there's this little spot down here, this this black piece and this um this little round brick. And as you can see, there's this little axle sticking up. If you do this, then you can put it on. And then to reattach it all, you see this is kind of loose. If you press down, then that should really um, tighten it up. You have these little rails to give it more detail. Of course, I already talked about the stud shooters. The shark, he the shark's head has yellow eyes which i think they should have actually added these eyes but small because i think it would have gave it a more detail but i think it might have probably would have scared the crap out of kids but oh well the outside is some type of like skeleton some like darkish ashy skeleton the flesh it's probably pink the the uh the shark's color is white and black so yeah these two fins are adjustable the thrusters have a lot of good design we have um two of the giant wheels from i think it's probably like from a nexo night lego set or something like that lava one i forgot but there's a lot of lego sets with these pieces so that we attach two of these, which I think pretty looks satisfying if you tell me if you actually did it without connecting it. I just closed these together because it just looked funny. Um, the, the, this is like a little barrel that I put it inside. You can see here that this is not openable, unlike the uh, the Lego um, 
The Lego Dreams uh, spaceship, uh, Mr. Oz's spaceship, well, I'll talk about it in another video. Oh, crap. I, oh, my God. I'm stupid. But, um, uh, we have these little lightning bolts coming out on the side. And fire. Guys, it will be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to watch Lego's new series, Lego Dreams, on uh, YouTube or the Lego channel. As I said again, it's for 10 years old. Um, this set is 71469 Nightmare Shark Ship and it has 1,389 pieces. I don't think I said the price yet, but this sucker was $140. I found it at Walmart, and I guess I just wanted to get it because it looked cool. But thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for other videos. Bye.